My name is Jeff Gagne, Product Manager here at Neo4j, and today I'd like to talk to you about scene actions in Neo4j Bloom. Bloom is Neo4j's visual exploration solution, and it offers a no-code, low-code experience. Scene actions are a new feature that appeared starting in Bloom 2.2 that enable developers or analysts to enter custom cipher that users can execute by interacting with the scene simply through selecting and right-clicking on nodes and relationships. Let's have a closer look. Today we'll be using the popular Northwind sample dataset. It includes categories of products and the suppliers they come from, as well as customers and orders that include products that customers have ordered. If you're already familiar with Bloom, you might have used saved cipher that we already have called search phrases. Starting in Bloom 2.2, we changed the search phrases tab in the perspective designer to be called saved cipher, and now you'll find search phrases as well as the new scene actions feature here. To quickly review what a search phrase is, we can create a search phrase that includes a parameter, in this case dollar sign $price, that the user will enter when they enter the search phrase in the near natural language search bar. With a scene action, we have a similar interface where you give the scene action a name and create custom cipher that actually uses the selection as parameters instead of a value entered in the search bar. For this search phrase, where we're looking for products with a unit price above $10, I can simply enter the parameter and get results including all of the products that meet the criteria as expressed in the custom cipher related to this particular search phrase. Now let's look at how a scene action compares. In this data set, let's imagine that we're interested in finding all of the products that a particular customer has ordered. To do that now, without a scene action, we'd have to find the customer we were interested in, and then we would want to expand the customer's node in order to see all of the orders that customer has made. We then need to do a second step, which would involve highlighting all of the orders that that customer has made, and then expanding those to find the products that they've ordered. This isn't too onerous, but we can certainly make this action and many others much simpler by including a custom search phrase that will do a lot of this work for us. Let's clear the scene and head back over to the perspective designer, have a look at saved cipher and scene actions. Let's add some custom cipher that will match customers to orders and products, and it'll use this dollar sign nodes parameter, which will return all of the node IDs that are in the user selection. We'll give the scene action a name and we'll call it show purchases. With scene actions, we also have the option of restricting its visibility to only certain types of nodes. So in this case, since this scene action is only applying to customers, I'm going to have it only show up if customer label nodes are in the user selection. Now we can head back over to our scene and put this scene action to use. We'll have a look at a customer of interest and when we right click on this customer, we'll see that we actually have a scene action available and it's the show purchases scene action we just created. So we have a much more efficient way now for users to show all of the products that a particular customer has purchased through the magic of scene actions. Now let's have a look at a slightly more complicated scene action. Imagine that we wanna be able to quickly determine any orders that contain selected products. I'll create a new scene action and in this case, since we're interested in finding orders, I'll call it show orders. And I'll enter some cipher here that will match any products in our selection to a particular order. In this case, I'm using the dollar sign nodes parameter again, which again will return all of the node IDs for the selected nodes. Now, if we go back to our scene and we highlight more than one product, then we can actually right click and find that this scene action appears under scene actions and Bloom will look for all of the orders that contain the different products that were in our selection. In this case, we found another order that contains these two particular products. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video with a quick explainer of how scene actions work in Neo4j Bloom. It's a powerful new feature that lets you build custom actions related to your specific use cases. For more details and more examples, check out the blog by my colleague Claudia Galina called Bloom Scene Actions, a different way to interact with your graph. Why not get started today? Head over to neo4j.com and check out our free AuraDB or our sandbox.